Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. This is your girl Tinapa Flolex. Please if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so help your girl to grow. And if you have done so, thank you, thank you so much. Now today we are going to tie one of the trending gilets, one of the conventional gele. So watch me as I tie this gele. Of course I've gone offline to create my pleats on my gele. This is my pleat. So I'm going to tie now so that I'll be able to create more pleats. The measurement for this style is our usual 70 30. So you move it right to the back, right to the back. And then the 30, we're going to tie it with the 30. So when you move to the back, move it up to the the, the bone at the back of your neck and then you go ahead to tie you hold it like this to the back then your tatty you also spread open your tatty and then you tie please when you're tying don't tie it too tight because if it's too tight you will not be able to pleat we are going to pleat from inside and so if it's too tight you will find it difficult to pleat so let it not be too tight let it be firm but not too tight so this is it i have tied this is what i am left with so i'm going to start pleating from inside now i'm going to create three pleats before i start the style i'm going to tie so you begin to pleat from inside I'm going to create three plates you create from one end of your head to the other to this side make sure it gets to this side that's why I said don't tie it too tight so that you'll be able to create your plates so that's the first one I'm going to create three plates This is the second one. This is the second plate I have created. This is the second plate. And these plates we are creating now are going to be on top of each other. It's not going to be separate like the first ones you have created. No, it's going to be on top of each other. Now I'm creating this last one, that is the third one. This is the third one, the third plate that I have created. Yeah, so I have plate, created the third, the three plates on top of each other. So what am I going to do? The next one I'm going to create now, they are going to be a bit bigger than what I have now. I'm also going to make it three. But this one, when I get here, I will pause. When I get to this place, I'm going to pause. I'm not going to continue. When I get to the middle, I will pause. Go back and take another plate. Bigger than the previous ones I have created bigger than the previous ones I created. I will pause here. These ones now are going to be bigger pleats. <coughs> I'll just take it and I will pause here. I'll continue until my pleat, my gilly is exhausted. Now I have finished. Don't forget these are bigger pleats than the other first three. So when you finish, what do you do? You hold down some of it and then you pull to get your height here. To get your height on this side. 
that is it that is it you get my height on this side you pull to get your height because you want your delay big so after pulling what do you do you are finished placing this side you want to move to this side so because of this tie you are tying because of this tie you are tying what are you going to do what you will not do is you leave out we're taking it now up to this end from where we stopped in the middle so you pull this one begin to arrange your gilly on this side make sure you don't lose out your gilly when you arrange you pull it and kind of create a space in between here in the middle create a space between this one and this we have created that place space you use a pin hold it down if possible you can pin it from inside so that nobody sees the pin because you are tying on yourself that's why you are doing all this if you are tying on somebody you don't need to hold with a pin you create that space look at the space and then you hold with a pin and then you come back and what do you do you pull it down why you are holding with pin is because while you are pulling you see it going down but if you secure with a pin it won't come down so you pick the other one you do the same create the hole create the hole secure with another pin when you finish you can actually remove your pin if it's not visible but if it's uh, if it's visible you can remove it but if it's not visible you can leave it you create another one then the last one which is this you also take it you also create your this thing your place there and then you take it down hold with a pin you also secure with a pin and then you take it down you have excess gilly you can just you know just hold it down and then when you come here you are not going to arrange this side you arrange your plates up to your back and then try and create your your space here try and create your space here then you go to the back look for any excess gilly at the back and tie this extra you can tie or use a pin to pin it down anywhere at the back so when you have pinned it down, you now come back to arrange. It's looking as if you have lost what you have created. You have not lost anything. Just come here and then you begin to arrange. Arrange what you have created on yourself. Arrange it and make sure it's okay. Arrange it. Arrange it. Make sure it is standing. It depends on how many you want. If you want more than this, you can create it if you want up to 20 you can do that so you arrange your gilly the way you want it and then push to the back and you you're good to go so that's our style for today so try another need practice and then submit for assessment. Bye.